It's early. <clears throat> So today, I wanted to kind of accomplish something. Um, I'm gonna do kind of a different video today. I've always planned on doing a kind of travel vlog and just kind of a daily life vlog. And this is kind of both. This has to do uh, a lot with uh, things that happened earlier this year. Uh, I think that it's kind of funny. Um, I'm, I'm sitting at this table and I sat at this table in January of this year. Um, like a broken. I, I don't know how else to put it. It was, it was a tough day and we were kind of in a spot where I didn't know quite what was happening and <laughs> oh. I've got silliness going they got a zip tie <laughs> And they're like, we need to make as much noise <laughs> as we can. Oh, yeah, that's what we need. <sighs> so, January of this year, I was planning on starting my own travel vlog. Um, now, what you're going to expect out of this channel is what came from that idea and was I we do a lot of cruise travel and that's going to be kind of the main focus on this channel because I want to help educate people but I'm also <laughs> I'm goofy <laughs> so I want you to know that um there are going to be serious videos that come out of this channel and uh, I just have fun with the goofy stuff I love green screens. I've fallen in love with it. And the more I learn about how those work, it's like the more I'm gonna like do things that are um, completely just green screen related. Hi, Flinty. <laughs> I've, I've cats all around me. Yeah, mine. <laughs> So, we started planning this Vegas trip. Las Vegas is one of the places we like to go, and we have a friend out there, a um, very near and dear friend, who moved out there. Her husband got stationed in Las Vegas. So we go out and visit. So this was our first big um, kind of visit to go see them. And I think that we had all, we planned for everything. And there are things that you can't plan for. There are things that you try to plan for, but when it comes to like your health and just living in general, um, we, we don't control that. And that uh, reared its head at us on this trip. Um, I can kind of laugh at it now and I feel more comfortable telling this story now because it's, oh, it was so tough. It was so tough. But we went on the trip. As the months have gone by, um, it's been really interesting kind of seeing like what we've been able to do. And so I want to kind of catalog some of this. So for the very first time, we're gonna kind of go over that whole trip. 
And what's funny is it's it's still hard today to kind of talk about everything that's been going on, but, you know, it just, it's one of those things that, you know, when you almost feel like you've almost lost the person that you love you try not to um, dwell on that I guess like now before we kind of jump into the past um, kind of want to give a a brief description of what we were doing. We were going to try a very low money challenge in Las Vegas. We got the cheapest tickets. We went through Allegiant Airlines and we got probably the cheapest tickets that you could get. We didn't pay anything extra to like store our luggage. So we all we had were backpacks that could fit underneath your travel seat. So uh, we were those annoying people with the very annoying backpacks on an airplane. Um, we did everything we could to save space. I got like the vacuum bags and you could, that you could like roll up and put inside, put all your clothes in, you roll them up and squeeze all the air out. Um, and it was kind of crazy, but... Uh, we had planned this for like a couple of months and we were like determined that nothing was going to stop us. I was able to secure us some, a free stay over at Park MGM in Las Vegas, which was amazing, by the way. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that we had all this kind of drama going on, that uh, we would probably have enjoyed it more. We had all this planned and the day before the trip, um, Megan started not feeling very well and she works uh, with a bunch of doctors she they're all psych doctors so uh, she's a therapist and she had talked to them and they had the idea to check her blood sugar and when they did that they found out it was like through the roof so now I'm gonna go ahead and get set up in the office. Um, but while I'm doing that, how about you guys go back to January of 2022 and kind of see what we were going through at the time. So we had quite the night last night. We've had the last last 24 hours have been rough. This has been a rough trip, so we haven't even left yet. So, so right now we're seeing what we can do with this trip. So, we're hoping we can make it. Megan last night ended up in the hospital. She had uh, high blood sugar, and it was like extremely high. So, they worked on bringing that down. This is something that's new that we're dealing with, and yeah, uh, it's, it's been a night, man. I am completely smashed right now. I just, it is, it's 5 a.m. right now, and it is rough. So, some of the things I'm most excited about this trip is the the fact that I'm going on my first flight so I'm pretty excited about this trip because I'm going on my first flight this is completely new to me I've never done this before and I'm genuinely excited so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we make it. I, uh, I'm not that nervous about getting on an airplane. Never been on one. 
And so, actually, that's a lie. Uh, I used to work at the airport and where they did maintenance. And we, I've been on airplanes then, but I've never flown in one. I've been asked to go. They were working on airplanes and they needed people to ride to test it. And I was like, I'm not testing your airplane. So, uh, no, my goals for today is we, we're going to get on this flight. Oh, this is a baby. Come here. This is my baby. Oh, this is my baby. This is my baby. So, goals are we're going to get on this flight and we're going to Vegas. Okay, so the one thing I didn't prepare for on this trip, which you think I would because I want to do youtube -y stuff, um, is that we, you know, I would have memory cards. <laughs> I meant to pick them up yesterday, and I didn't. So now, I'm stuck where I need to go do it. like ASAP. Our Uber is picking us up for the airport at 8.15 and it is 7.20 in the morning. So we will see. Gonna take this road on an open plane. I'm gonna something, something, go no more. Gonna ride this train till I don't know when. Something, something, don't know more. I got, <laughs> I got a GoPro in my bag. <laughs> I got a GoPro in my bag. Gonna go to Vegas. Trying to get to Walmart. La da 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 da. <laughs> oh my God. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah, yeah. Something boys, something boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come up for you? Something boys, something boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? So yeah, we had quite the <laughs> day yesterday. It was a nightmare. So Megan wasn't feeling well. She hasn't been feeling well for a few days. And she ended up in the hospital. And this is like less than 24 hours before we have to go on this trip. And before you ask, no, no, it was not anything about the the global bastard that's going on right now. No, this is a blood sugar level. Something that uh, we, we've known could be an issue in her future. And uh, it looks like now is the time that we really have to start watching this. So, you know, what we're going to do is, uh, well, what happened is... She ended up in the hospital. Uh, she stayed there till about 1 a.m. And then she ended up getting uh, released because they had no beds. They, they almost kept her, but they were able to uh, give her an IV and they brought her blood sugar level down. And then they gave her some new medicine. So that's exciting. I'm very excited about this. So now she just has to watch the, um, we have to really watch things now. So she's gonna have to check her blood sugar level. 
uh, I'm going to be very involved in this because she needs to be around forever. So I, I've had a real emotional time. I'm about to cry. I had a real emotional like day yesterday. I'm telling you. She scared the crap out of me. And she still wants to go on this trip. I'm not a thousand percent on board with this. Uh, but I'm being very supportive. So. But I need her to be around forever. And ideally. <laughs> forever. <laughs> so we will see how this all works. But. Oh. <sighs> But, yeah. Um, we'll be monitoring everything. And we're going to just play this safe. Good thing is, is uh, having been served 10 years in the military, she has earned that right to the VA hospital. And um, McCarran's right there on the Vegas Strip. So if worse comes to worse and she has to go back to the hospital. That's what the game plan is. But this medicine, they said that we're, we're gonna be really watching more for it lowering her level too much. So we gotta really watch that. So yeah, one of the many reasons I'm running to Wally World. <laughs> so. so a little bit about me, since this is my first video here. Um, I am, this, this year, I have adult children. I know, it's amazing, I look so young. I look so young. <laughs> I look so young to have adult children. Uh, yeah, I was a teenage, you know, daddy-o. I think my first child was born when I was 18 years old. And second, when I was 19. Did it early. And not a bad thing, really, honestly. But we will see. All right. We are at the Wally World. Boy, there's not a lot of people here. Now what I'm hoping is I can just get in and out of here. Get my memory cards. Get the test strips, because we need a few more of those. And yeah, we'll be Vegas bound. So, while I work on that, how about you guys? How about you guys stay right here? You got it. Let's do this. Okay, so. Oh, got what I needed. Because... This has been one of those days already. Oh, I'm going to be in an airplane today. Oh, this is exciting. I've never been in an airplane. I've barely been out of my state. <laughs> so, 10 years ago, I barely left Oklahoma. Like, the place I've been to the most was Texas. And, uh found out that Texas is not as cool as I used to think it was so yeah I uh, in the last 10 years I've done a lot of travel so I've been on about 10 cruises I don't even know how many countries I've been to I need to do a count um, probably 
I've been to Vegas a few times. I've, I've, you know, lived my life, what I thought, you know, pretty much to the fullest. And then here, like the last two years, and because of the global bastard, I'm gonna tell you what, I realized that I'm not living my life to the fullest. And there are things that I want to do. And yes, and it sounds silly to say I want to do this. I want to do that. It's not, I don't need to travel. But I only have this one life. And I'm out of shape. I'm... I, I have it rough right now. I'm, I have super high blood pressure, super high. It's ridiculous that at my age, I'm 39 years old, I shouldn't be dealing with this. And I have so much more life to live and I'm gonna live it to the fullest. That's my goal with these videos. And you know, I'm not gonna be able to travel everywhere, like the whole world, unless something major were to happen but i'm taking you with me so there you go i'm very excited though this is this is gonna be uh quite the ride i'm hoping I'm hoping that uh we don't run into any issues so pretty sure it said that each of the cards that I bought are like six hours of footage. I'm only be there for a few days, so I only need a couple of cards, really. So I'm not going to take that much footage while we're out there. Oh, man. It is 7.43. Our Uber will get to our place at 8.15. So we got plenty of time. Oh, I hope we don't have any issues. Beautiful day. It was at this point the Uber was arriving. We zipped up our bags, closed the door, and we got in the Uber. And well, we were on our way to the airport where I was going to go on my first flight. I don't want it without. I have that rash and I don't have my medicine. Nice. Here, you can. Wait, did I put my one backwards again? No, it's okay. We made it. Say something to Tom. <laughs> Hi, Tom. We're going on an airplane fight. We boarded the plane, listened to the safety briefing, and then I got to experience my very first takeoff in Oklahoma City and my landing all the way in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Now, this was a very exhausting day, especially for Megan. Uh, we had been up all night, 
and she had been in the hospital until one in the morning. I had to go pick her up. Uh, at that point, you, I wasn't able to go into the hospital. So, so yeah, I went down there, picked her up, and oh, we didn't get to bed till like we had to pack. We had to finish packing. <laughs> we had so much to do. Uh, so we didn't actually get to bed till after three, and then I was up at five. So that night, uh, we that well, that day when we got into Vegas, we went to Park MGM, which was where we were staying, and we checked in just a little bit early, and we crashed. <laughs> we crashed hard. I am a early riser, so I got up early that morning, and I decided I was gonna walk the streets and see what Vegas was like super early in the morning. I didn't know what to expect so uh, my my goals was to find somewhere quiet and just basically talk about what was going on now please excuse the crazy camera work here i'm very new at this and like i said in the beginning here i got the wrong memory card for my gopro and so it was taking all kinds of craziness it was flashing and shaking and doing all things that the gopro camera isn't supposed to do but i did get some good shots here one thing i did notice in this morning walk was that there were homeless everywhere for the last probably 12 years i've worked with low income and homeless populations in my own state and so it was very interesting seeing this in nevada and so prevalent um, one person was very intoxicated and actually threatened me as i walked by kind of made me a little more conscious about walking around uh, in the wee early morning with a bunch of recording equipment all right so here we are at caesar's palace I just don't know what to do this morning. I've been uh, kind of all over the place, uh, kind of figuring out what I need to do. <clears throat> I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do this morning. Um, I just, I don't know. Uh, I wanna sit down and kind of blog, but everywhere is blasting all kinds of music. And I just, I don't know, I, <laughs> YouTube man so yeah this is like the one place over here at caesar's palace uh right here by hell's kitchen they're not actually blasting music at the moment they're actually cleaning and uh yeah i could actually talk for a little bit so not bad though uh, it's quite the walk uh going up and down stairs uh, finding elevators it's been fun so but yeah this has been an adventure this morning early morning vegas way different than late night vegas so i think we're gonna make our way uh, somewhere to have breakfast with megan this afternoon and or this afternoon <laughs> we're gonna have some breakfast uh, maybe some brunch but i wanted to get out and get some shots and get some cool you know stuff going on here so, so far, we haven't had too much trouble with the entire, um, oh, we haven't had too much trouble with the uh, luggage. We're only on day, like the full first day. So that might change, but as of right now, we're doing okay. So the backpack I have on, that's all I brought. So, yeah. Anyways, here's a great view. I think what we're gonna work on now is getting our way back to the hotel. And by then, maybe Megan will be ready for some breakfast or brunch. 
Uh, I'm not going to push her too much. We're going to check her blood sugar, make sure she's okay. And find somewhere healthy to go. Everywhere we go, it's like not healthy. So all this is new to us. So we're really trying here with this diabetes thing. So last night we went to Olive Garden, which I know everyone's probably going to scream why, but <laughs> we're putting that new medicine to the test, I guess. So hopefully we check it and it'll be a lot better this morning. If not, we're going to go with some very healthy eating options and see what we can find. So maybe some salads, uh, something like that. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Check this out. Talk about a seahorse. <laughs> oh, too funny. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So, the only iffiness I've had so far is probably the, um, <sighs> uh, early morning jitters walking around, people that are trying to sleep. Uh, there's a lot of homeless here, so just kind of be mindful and not like advertise that I have a bunch of recording equipment on me, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, not bad. <sighs> okay, it's daylight now, so we are still working our way back. So I think we're going to go have a breakfast buffet. We got a two for one. So if we do that, then we probably will save us a little bit. Uh, over there at the MGM Grand, I think they got a decent breakfast. I don't know. We're going to check it out uh, and just see. I mean, we're doing this on the cheap, so and I think that might be somewhere where Megan will have options. So if her blood sugar is high, we can work on that. So who knows? We will see.
Hey, honey. Now, if this seems real disjointed and doesn't make a whole lot of sense, the rest of this video actually won't. You see uh, Megan's blood sugar was still very high at this point. Uh, we were doing everything we could to get it down, but it just wasn't really going down. Uh, we did go to the buffet. Um, we uh, went for a pretty long walk. Uh, we took a monorail to the other side of the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, we walked over to Gold and Silver Pond from Pawn Stars. And then we checked out a haunted house that uh, was owned by one of the ghost hunters or um, well, from, from the TV show. I'm not really sure. Zach something. <laughs> like, I always forget his name. But And then we went over to the mob museum. Um, none of this I really got any video of. And it's mainly because the video became secondary. It wasn't as important as what was going on in the real time and so i pretty much stopped taking video the rest of our trip was pretty much um us doing everything we can just to get this blood sugar level down we did get to enjoy some time with our friends and I will show you guys some photos of some goofiness that was going on. But yeah, uh, this is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Know that every moment is precious. And live life to the fullest. Um, I want to do... I love taking video, I love doing this, but spending my life with my wife, my family, is actually more important. Despite everything that was happening, this trip wasn't a total disaster. We still will remember this for the rest of our lives. Not only did we learn about this disease, but we also learned about each other, and we grew closer, and it helped us in the long run. So I am happy to report that uh, now Megan's blood sugar has gone back to normal. It took some time to actually get it there. Lots of medication changes. It was a very stressful time for us. We've been doing much better with our eating habits. And she's lost quite a bit of weight. And I'm not, I'm not too far behind her. I'll put it that way. So uh, we've both been doing a lot better and so yeah um we're holding ourselves more accountable to our lives and uh sticking around for each other so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed these photos here especially these ones right here <laughs> but most importantly know that you matter you are significant and you are loved I'll see you all next time. See ya.